Um, uh, where my mind went to is kind of that I think that this medium of uh, YouTube storytelling through animation is still kind of budding. So I think a lot of what uh, what bloggers can enjoy that we can't is that there's kind of like an established language. And I think uh, YouTube animation is kind of in its infancy, and I know we were talking about like, oh, people are like copying each other. It, I, I think that happens because we're tr still trying to like figure out what works with audiences on YouTube. And um, yeah, because there's no like old grandmaster that we can look to like, uh, Oh, I guess we can get it. I think, uh, well, I guess it's, I'm just like envious of how other content creators can just make, um, like when they make videos, they can record things in bulk. Or even like when they're making one specific video, they can, um, they can omit or edit. We don't edit, we just make things from scratch. So we can't, we don't have. Uh, the luxury of having like uh, deleted scenes or whatever, because we have to animate the deleted scene, you know. Bloopers. So bloopers uh, like that. Even more work. <laughs> so I like having to edit things down, but our, we're just building from the ground up. Yeah, I'm showing off uh, Dom's answer is when YouTubers like they take breaks or like, oh, I'm going to be gone for like a week, so I have to like bulk record videos. Like we can't do that because <laughs> <laughs> it's already taken like. Long enough to like make our own videos, like just the normal ones. So when like when we were here, James and I, we had to like scramble. Like right? we're gonna be gone for like three weeks, not making a video, and then our channel's gonna like crash and die, and we're gonna like, suffer, and things are gonna be crappy. And then so we had to like plan so much in advance. Where is this name? Uh, should I say this? I'm gonna say it. <laughs> There's gonna be like we filmed a filler kind of drawing video. Yeah, drawing the Pokemon videos. Yeah, we're drawing iconic. Yeah, I'm, my video is drawing iconic characters from memory. What was yours? I, that's secret. <laughs> <laughs> uh, secret. Okay. Well, okay. <laughs> also, one more thing to add about the difference between us and other YouTubers that don't do animation is that I've heard some like uh, I guess I can call it the gamers that say that there's like hundreds of their videos that they're just not proud of, they just make it and they upload it. But like, we are proud of every single video because we put our heart and soul, you know? <laughs> the first one, it's like anything in 2014. You're not proud of your first videos? <laughs> I think that's a whole other can of worms. And like, I think my second video, I didn't even know how to export it the right way, so there's like a yeah. black box. Like, yeah. Yeah. Either way, you put your heart and your soul into every video. No, oh, well I have. <laughs> the trick is make like the most garbage thing you can do and then upload it and then you can only go up from there. So start with, like, Low expectations. Like, if you make the best thing, what, what are you going to do next, you know? Alright, let's go to the next one. So, what's your opinion on the new animation com community that has been growing like since animation has been dead on YouTube for so long and then here we are, the, bl the budding flowers of animation bringing it back. What's your just opinion on that? You guys want me to go Are you going to steal our, our yeah. <laughs> things? Yeah, everything that they think is my Let's go with Dom. Well, I like it because, like you said, it seemed like a dying thing. YouTube isn't really built for us to, you know, like make stuff. But uh, we try to survive. I, I guess uh, we, we were like the survivors. And then people kind of just believed, you know, that someone like, oh, they can do it. We can do it too much like how we thought. We watched other animators like, oh, we can do it too. So they, they kind of just came at a surprise right now. Like I didn't even honestly just blew up like the last couple of years, and I'm just discovering new animators like every day. Like I met a bunch just here at VidCon. Like, oh yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah, like I think it's um, since it's the animation kind of stuff is so against the YouTube algorithm, which is. Um, daily videos, like 10 minute long videos, all this stuff. The fact that we're somehow making it work is just, like, makes people happy. What happened? Did I miss something? I think I got a mic. He's happy. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, like, you, you needed to like, you need to speak into the microphone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I 
ASMR break. And, uh, just like the fact that we're doing like against all odds, making it work. People just appreciate that we're not like grinding. Like, can we get like five million likes on whatever? Like, we're just like we're just having fun doing our thing. So. <laughs> oh right, 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 right. Um, oh, I'm just curious, but like, uh, who here animates for YouTube? Or just animates in general? Woo! Whoa! Um, awesome. I mean, like, one of my favorite things is like, there's like a huge enthusiasm for like making stuff that like wasn't here last year. And uh, seeing that's like inspiring, I kind of joke to Alex that like, oh god, like my replacements are coming. But, um, <laughs> Uh, like, there's a lot of talented people like cropping up and like starting their own like groups of animators and um, encouraging each other, uh, and it makes me <laughs> sorry. Um, and that makes me I get I get super inspired, just a little bit jealous, a little bit talented kids, but um, I'm not really happy about this new crop of animators. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm insanely happy that that animation is is growing on YouTube again because I remember watching like like all the, the old people on YouTube like Ego Raptor, Oni and G, and all those guys. And I wanted to be just like them, and I was making videos kind of like them. You know, they were making short like little skit animations. And I guess after the years when YouTube started changing, it wasn't favoring their their formula of animation. It started moving on to things like watch time and you know, engagement, stuff like that. <clears throat> so, you know, after a while, animation had to evolve. And some people didn't come with it, and some people did. And uh, you can see that it's changed into something more like this, where, you know, there's longer videos, more videos, and, um, you know, videos more personal. I like that, that they're more personal, and we're telling stories and stuff, and it's all about, it's all about us, and it's great. So I love the community. Well, something like that. <laughs> How does it feel being last? Now? Is it hard? <laughs> something, something that I uh, really like about this new wave of animation community is that people are starting to put effort into their videos. Because uh, I don't know, like a lot of other YouTubers, not calling anyone out, he, he just like <laughs> makes videos. He makes, he makes videos just to make them. Then you have to make a video every day. So if you have no idea what to make, just move one out. And so what I what I really appreciate is that people are now starting to like actually write scripts and edit and like put effort into their videos, which is something a good fresh change on YouTube. And uh, I, re I really appreciate people who do do that. So I collaborate with a lot of people who are like, starting out animation channels. So you're like an animation sensei. Yes, <laughs> senpai. <laughs> So let's do the, the last question. If you could go back to when you were just starting YouTube and animation, what do you wish you knew back then that you know now? Some thinker. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I knew how to export videos the right way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't even know like you should draw pictures at 1920 by 1080. You should draw pictures by 1920 by 1080, by the way. Um, that's, that's like this normal screen resolution. Uh, I wish I wish I also like knew kind of some like other tips and tricks because like, I picked up small things along the way and like I would have been able to go faster. Um, I I, I, could, I wish I told myself like yeah don't worry about it just have fun. I wish I was so I don't know why I would say that. Yeah. You did everything perfectly. I did. I, know. I mean I wouldn't say anything. I'd be like you're good dude. <laughs> Yeah, I'll agree. I think I wouldn't really say much. I wish I just probably learned more about the programs that I was using when I was first starting out, because I was kind of just going for it. I'm still learning stuff to this day, so I would probably just get more knowledge. No. Knowledge. No. Welcome back to ASMR. Um, for me, I, I, and I, I guess I'm still going through this process, but like I'm trying to remind myself or past self that, um, that's not true. Uh, it's okay to be kind of like a little bit bad at first. I think a lot of, especially when you're in animation, 
uh, and you see like beautiful works from like Disney or like stuff on TV, like Steven Universe, like everything's really polished. And I think when you're looking at your screen on your computer and you see like, oh, this is a stick figure, okay, it's really easy to kind of like be paralyzed uh, to not keep working. But um, that's kind of like a process. So just like get that done and it's going to be possibly mediocre, but then you just move on to the next one and it keeps getting better. So yeah, that's what I've done. Yeah, I, I pretty much just agree with what everyone said. I mean, I, mean, I guess it's, yeah, te like the technology, I wish I knew some things, some shortcuts, but I eventually did learn on the way. So, like, it, it, it's like a fun experience to just learn something new for the next project because, uh, like, we don't really get to practice what I'm like, you get, I don't really practice animation. Like, each project I make is a practice. So, if I, like, mess up something on it, then I know what to do for the next one. I, I'd just say, like, just chill out. Because, <laughs> like, when you first start, you, like, you're in the mindset of, oh, it has to be perfect. People are going to watch this. They're going to judge you on it. And, like, it has to be, like, the best you can do. And, uh, I mean, you always want to be working, like, hard and improving. But don't, like, stress because if you're always, if you're, like, you're always going to keep doing it and you're always, improve, like, improvement is going to happen just when you just like it's just gonna happen you don't have really control over it you can like practice more and then uh just i what do i say <laughs> basically just don't yeah. worry about it kind of thing like you want to you want to you think that you need to have uh perfect things like right out of the gate but you're gonna learn as you go and just yeah pretty just much don't compare perfect. yourself to people right off the bat true <laughs> All right, so that's all my questions. So uh, the, the rest of the time, we can just like take questions from you guys and stuff. How much so, time do we have left? We have about 30 minutes left. So. Yeah, so like half of them. Okay. Never mind. Okay, never mind, then I'll help. guys here, uh, <laughs> um, my question is, uh, how do you, I hate doing line art, it just drives me nuts on the computer, um, traditionally it's fine, but doing it on the computer with tablet, it drives me nuts, uh, what strategies do you have to make smooth, good line art, because all of your line art is like, nice, mine is not. <laughs> Well, do you use Adobe Flash? Yeah, there's a bench. No, I use TV Paint. Oh. Well, let me wake you up. Uh, Adobe Flash. <laughs> so Flash has this option to auto smooth lines. Yeah. So you just like select the line, hit smooth, and hit smooth and snow. Well, hello for someone who doesn't use Flash. <laughs> Transitioning from paper to tablet is like really hard, especially when you're first starting out. What I did was I drew what I wanted on paper, I scanned it in, and then I was able to just trace over what I wanted to get. So I, I think, and also Paint Tool Sci has a pretty cool stabilizer function, and uh, I don't know what tablet you're using. Get a tablet if you get I have a tablet. Okay, good. Because if you're using a mouse, then it's like that. Awesome. I'm really curious, is this, is this a problem that happens when you're switching to digital, or is it just in general with your drawings? Um, with traditional, I'm good at learning art just in, I don't know, so just, I, I think I'm good at learning I, I would say practice a lot. <laughs> I, I think like every time you make a line, practice, 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 yeah. but, you're, you're learning like shape language every time you're moving your arm, and as soon as you get used to that perfect line, it's going to like click with your brain. So, yeah. Thank you. Hi, James. Hello. <laughs> get into like animation yeah. and I'm really bad at drawing people but um, I know you like recommended some tablets and stuff but yeah. is it like really hard to animate and also I was wondering if you could take a look at a comic I drew for good time. Maybe, maybe afterwards but um, I, I would say I think this was Jaden's answer for one of the things is if you were going to get a tablet your very first tablet should be a cheap tablet and 
You can create professional art with a cheap tablet. The big expensive ones just make it easier and faster to work. But with, if you get a cheap tablet, then you'll be like practicing and you'll see if it's right for you. So it's a good idea to start off cheap and then if you like it, then maybe upgrade to a bigger, better one. And yeah, I'd love to see your comment. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. <laughs> I'm ready. Uh, do you send autographs? Mm, I don't know, like right, right now, but maybe later. Uh, am I answering all the questions? Look down at your paper right now.
Am I the only um, Tomb Boom guy here? <laughs> Anyways, uh, 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 one else. Uh, 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 I, you know in your video when the banner comes down? Oh yeah. yeah. Hello. Anyways, um, uh, for Alex and I, we work uh, a lot with rigged characters, which helps a lot for like uh, like getting it out of fast pace, but also like consistency with the characters. Um, if you make a rigged character, you want to make sure it, it looks good because you're going to be using it like forever, and it's not going to change much enough. Um, uh, and then uh, we want to make we, we do like a lot of cutaway gags for our videos. And that's where we kind of get to flex our like animation, like actually drawing frame by frame muscles. Um, and that's kind of like uh, the only way to make everything look consistent during those like cutaway gags. Is, like you really just have to practice your shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I have like a question and a half a question that kind of goes with it. So as a high school student, like I don't have a lot of time at night to do stuff other than work on work. <laughs> so, how do I like delegate my time? Kind of video games. Uh, <laughs> and sleep. <laughs> well, I mean, at, at, sleep with us, eat less, don't just that school. Uh, but like as, you know, just in high school, you can do it as a hobby. You know, you're not paying the bills for YouTube, but like, just doing it for fun. You know, just, if you just every day just spend an hour, it's fun. You know, you, you don't have to be you know, like getting it an animation out like every week. So if you're doing it just as a hobby, then you can just post a video whenever you do it. Also, as my kind of half a question, yes. Uh, should I create like a character rig or something? <laughs> yeah, if the program lets you. Cool. I mean, that would be time saving, yeah. And it also look more professional. Um, I'm just curious, so Dom, weren't you making videos on top of your college work during a lot of that? I, when I was still in uh, college, I was only doing the, the comments, so that was the only thing I was balancing. But once I graduated, that's when I did animation. Uh, hi, uh, I'm Yuki, I'm from Seattle, and I have a question. Um, you guys talked a lot about Flash, and I was wondering if you don't necessarily have the program or the money, really. Um, how can, what other programs would you recommend to someone trying to start out? Paper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, open to okay. you. Guys, do you guys have an answer? Um, well, I remember like this isn't like professional, but it was like fun, kind of cheap. If you take if you take a like a thing of sticky po post-it notes, you, you post can make it cool. Okay, oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Like, yeah. what you can do, the stuff I use is, uh, I draw a video on a program called Paint Tool Side, you have to pay like $40 for it, and you just pay for it once. And even like, just having Windows Movie Maker, you can just slideshow the drawings moving. I use Adobe Premiere, which is a, something you have to pay for, but if you're trying to go for like bare minimum cheap, then like Windows Movie Maker and Paint Tool Side, or even MS Paint. Also, by the way, if anyone's looking for a free drawing program, Fire Alpaca oh, yeah. is really good for, it's like a good paint tool side replacer if you can't pay anything. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Fire Alpaca. I don't, we don't, at least I don't know any good free animation programs because animation programs are really bulky and stuff. I, I heard legend that uh, Flash CS2 might be free, but I don't know. All right, uh, so uh, I have a question that's uh, technically not mine. Uh, Alex asked if Chris would answer the rest of the questions only speaking Japanese. Hi. I'm sure it's not sure, sorry. Also say hi, Alex, to my boss, please. Oh, I thought I guys want to see the subtitles. <laughs> he said they won't. <laughs> Um, uh, hi guys, I love you all. Um, I was wondering what video you guys made that you think made like the biggest impact on like your audience and stuff, or just like how to inspire people. I don't know. What was that question? Like a uh, video that like that you made that you thought made like a really big impact, and, like did it feel good making a positive impact on other people? Well, I haven't really made any like serious videos. All my videos are all just um, done fun stories, so I haven't really done anything. Serious videos. I knew my like. I, whenever I like, talk about someone in a video, I know like their channel will like get a bunch of subscribers. 
subscribers. Like last time I talked about Carl Sagan, and I just looked on his social media and he's like a lot of fair. So I don't know if you guys. James gave Subway a lot of customers, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I think he gave part time workers a lot of hope. Like you 
might spend like two hours on like walking or like I, I remember one time I spent like 45 or like, <laughs> like 40 hours, no, like maybe an hour like animating this guy riding a bike and you only see it for like two seconds in the video. It's like, why do you even bother? <laughs> oh, <laughs> but, the hardest thing for me is making characters blank. Because it's so unnecessary, no one cares about it. But I make it and it's like, no, no one cares about it. Was it worth it? Uh, you, you think like it's just like little stuff like this that takes a lot of time and like only a select few people who like appreciate animation will know this. But I mean, it, it looks good and we put our heart into it. So it makes it worth it. Little details. that you like doing it. Because if you don't like doing it, it'll show in your work and people will notice. And so if you're putting your, if you're passionate about it, then you, you'll, you're, it'll show in your work. So the most important thing is that you like doing it. I'd say endurance. Like, oh, that's you got to really be in front of the screen for a while. Because you like doing it. Yeah, because you like doing it. Yeah. I think you should, it's important to take breaks if you're working on long projects, but sometimes I'll draw a line and I'll just stop in the middle of it and be like, hey, you play some video games. <laughs> For a week. <laughs> Hi. Um, first of all, uh, Jaden, I want to say that I really like the recent video you did uh, about the random thoughts. I thought oh, that thanks. was hilarious. Very well done. Um, and my question, because you're animators, uh, if you ever need voice actors, uh, how do you find them, and uh, where do you go for them? <laughs> I mean, that, that maybe we have several voice actors here that are interested in animators. Well, I didn't hear the last part of the question. Uh, I just said clearly that there's several voice actors here that are yes. interested in animators. I, yeah, I was yeah. going to say, like, they come to me, so yeah, we, I don't have to, we don't have to look. Yeah. Everyone's just like, they want to be in our videos, and you know, we're always looking for new talent, and it's great that they're coming to us. I, well, so, you get so my my kind of practice is because if you want to collab with someone, you'll probably have a good chance of collabing with me. Um, and what I, I kind of like look at your channel and see if you like actually have put in the effort and work into your channel, and it's like yeah, we can collab. And so if you like just send me an email and also like keep this on the DL. If if you send me an email and you don't put a link to your channel, it's like an automatic no. <laughs> I'm just like, no, I'm too busy. I say I'm too busy, but it's I didn't even look. Because so I'll like put a link to your channel if you want to pull out with me. And also like make like put an effort for your videos. So, yeah. I think one of the advantages of having these like story time videos is that you get to put your own voice in too. It saves a lot of time not having to like schedule things. So if you're confident with your voice, I mean like Throw it in there a lot, you'll save a lot of time. <laughs> uh, I'm, playing, I'm playing a lot of uh, Payday 2 right now, but uh, my favorite game is probably uh, Super Smash Bros. Yeah. <laughs> Under the hotel, we'll play. Yeah. Uh, I made a lot of people. <laughs> on my uh, Mac computer once, but then it wouldn't like let me download. I don't know if this was because I just had like too much stuff on it, or even if it's just like, because sometimes um, Mac can't just like, if you try to download something with the internet, sometimes Mac says that it can't find the actual like person who made the, who made the item. So um, uh, how do you download Fire Alpaca on like Macs? Uh, I might be the only Mac user, unfortunately. <laughs> Hey, I'm switching to be seen soon. Don't get too excited. <laughs> Sorry, but it, it, Mac is weird. It, kind of, it doesn't like support as much programs out there that like PC does. Like paint tool size and on Mac, I'm like, oh. So um, I think in your settings, uh, you'll have to Google it or something. But I guess just find other pro programs that work like it, kind of thing. I use Clip Studio Paint, if anyone is... Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Paint will size better. Um, just like, find other alternative programs that work the same way that Mac can support, kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, a lot of the Adobe stuff is like, 
Yeah, it'll be a good, it's like supported by everything. Hi guys. Hello. So, from last VidCon, when, now that you guys are more famous YouTubers and you've, you've been aspiring to other YouTubers, but you see that there's people, like you see Michael Stevens pouring somebody a glass of water, like, but you treat them as celebrities, you know, you guys do the sort of thing that you get. How do you guys deal with knowing that people, like, super inspire you, even though that you are, you know, you're just a person and you do great things, but how do you, what is your reaction to it? I don't know how I got here. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly, we really don't, well, I, I can't speak for everyone, but I don't think, I don't see myself as a celebrity just because, like, I'm just, like, you're, you grow up, it's like, it's like, if you were to imagine, like, in a year being where we are, you're like, oh, but I'm just me. It's like, that's me, right? Like, James and I have attempted to walk into the expo hall because we underestimate how many people enjoy our stuff, and we, like, we got, like, swim a little bit farther the first time, and then we got swarmed and kicked out. We love and you guys. Then, and then we, we, like, we went backstage, and then we tried again, and we got, like, maybe 10 yards, and we got swarmed again. And we really appreciate like meeting you guys, but we keep underestimating yeah. like how and many people are I, I also think that you guys probably don't realize what goes on behind the scenes. Like when I say I work in my pajamas, like I literally like just stay in my pajamas all day and like go out inside my room. So that doesn't really feel like a celebrity, exactly. to be honest. <laughs> just you know, like haven't shaved in a long time. You know, post a video on my underwear, and like, oh, good, yeah, people like it. And so, and also, like, we, I guess this could be for a whole bunch of other YouTubers, like, we can go out in the public, we can go to grocery stores and not be recognized at all, it's just really great conventions where we can't go to the expo hall. So, I forgot the question. But we were, I really like it, and uh, it's really humbling. Oh, yeah. Um, question for you guys, to cut through the noise of a lot of social stuff. Do you guys, are you guys local? No, we're, I'm from Arizona. Same. Same. Can't I'm local. Yeah. Oh. So what was the question again? Cut, cut through the noise? Basically, well, oh, I'm sorry. It's, uh, basically, if you guys are in town soon, great. If you want to do the future, great. Do you guys want to come to DreamWorks? <laughs> cool. <Yeah. laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run up a card really quick, just email me. I'll bring Alex. Then you guys are home. Yeah. Oh, thank you. So I'm gonna send the card up. And then, that'll be for everybody here. Just... Is everyone else invited too? <laughs> we'll get that one in one second. Uh, to bring value to everyone in the room, so I'm not just like, okay, great. Like, what are we getting out of it? If, uh, for the three people in the room, because there were a couple in here, do you guys have any thoughts on, like, you know, YouTube for 3D since you guys are like super successful going into 2D for all the people doing 3D here, like how can they do stuff? I think there's like a language that still needs to be developed for it. Um, do you guys know like Ami? Oh, I love it. Oh, Ami, yeah, she's cool. She does like, uh, she does 3D. Yeah, she's like a, a animated, 3D animated vlog channel where she, it looks like a normal like YouTuber vlog, but it's like, <laughs> it is, and, and uh, you'll have to check out her channel, Ami Yamato, but she's a sweetheart. Yes. So I think it's just like, there's no rules to YouTube, I think it's just that no one's really done it yet, it's like a untapped like oil kind of thing. So, yeah, it is interesting, I've seen a few here and there, and I feel like um, it's, a gr it's, it's got potential. Hi, hello. Um, this is horrifying, actually. <laughs> so, I, I have two questions. I don't worry, you're like, speak fast. Um, so, one is, uh, is um, so since you started out with, like, I have come up and making stuff for her, how did you transition to making your own um, I started off, yeah, working for her, and that was like, I, uh, 
thank them because without them, I don't think I would have made a channel. Like I don't, I didn't like think anyone anything would come with it. And that initial like working with them, it was an initial like 2,000 boost to start off with, which is really hard when you're just starting out with scratch and stuff. So it was good uh, publicity. Um, we worked together for like eight videos, and then I my channel like just got a bit bigger and bigger, and I was like having less time to devote to setting my channel aside for them. So we kind of just like fell um, out of touch. Not out of touch, but I just couldn't set a time aside time to keep working with them. So it was just like a gradual. I became my independent kind of thing. Well, we're still friends. But I had lunch with them the other day, but yeah. Okay, second question. This one's more stupid. Um, so, James, I don't know if I should call you that. Okay. Since, you know, I just don't think you know you. But, um, so, uh, how do you feel about the Jenna Marbles and Jack Stone's drama? Hashtag Klondike and Sunday are keeping the question here. I, I didn't know there was drama going on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Every dog is a good dog. <laughs> a good dog's fine. Actually, no, my dog is better, so... You <laughs> give your attitude. <laughs> What's up, James? Hi, True. <laughs> so, um, I love you guys, by the way. Uh, when I found out you were subscribed to me, James, I, I threw myself out of a window. <laughs> um, yes, you're okay. <laughs> but, my question is, because um, as you guys mentioned before, earlier um, during the panel, is that there are a lot of animators, like it's, a, it's turning into like a really big community, and I spend um, three-fourths of my life animating, and even with that, I spend 82% of the time trying to figure out what I can do that hasn't been done yet, like original content, like just like a video that like no one's done, and it's really like really, really hard. What do you guys do? Um, no, I was gonna make a joke. I was gonna say there's nothing new anymore. Yeah, yeah I agree. There's no such thing as original anymore. Just there's only doing things your way. Now, it's fine to do a video that someone else has done before, but in your you know, in your style and your flavor and stuff. Yeah, I think it's good to take inspiration from something, not completely copy it, but you know, add your own twist to it, add your own style to something and it becomes good. Well and also uh, if you, if the important thing is that you make content that you're proud of, and if you're proud of it, it shouldn't matter if it gets one or a million views, and the important thing is that you liked making it, and that you had a good time, and you're proud of it. 